passing a lot of open house signs today. All of these presumably are going to be part of this uh, <clears throat> four hour Margate Park open house event. Might be able to find a parking spot on this street. interesting Ainsley which we were just on um, does not connect with Sheridan instead it uh, loops around into this street Margate Terrace It doesn't appear to be a site of a lot of new construction. You can see that there is a variety uh, of homes here. Uh, I'm not sure if all of these are single families or if some of them have been uh, divided up into apartments. But a lot of them look like uh, single family homes. But uh, anyway, this street looks quite a bit different from uh, some of the ones that I've just been driving up and down. Like Ainsley and Margate, this street uh, does not connect with Sheridan. Cul-de-sacs here right next to the John T. McCutcheon Public School. number of fenced in yards here on this street. Not every home, but uh, quite a number of them. I wanted to just stop real quickly and note that this home right here, 850 West Castlewood, was the old home of uh, the essayist and uh, interviewer Studs Terkel. This was Stud's home right here. Going north on Sheridan, uh, here's the Sheridan Grand. It's a new construction development. Uh, again, the McCutcheon Public School. We just passed a Boys and Girls Club. Um, what do we have 
here. The Whitechapel Apartments. Get up to Argyle and you get into the uh, New Chinatown area. at the corner of Foster and Sheridan, we see uh, the site of a new Dominix, which will be coming to the area. So you come in here and you come down underneath Lakeshore Drive. Soccer fields to my right. Over here to my left, to the east. Uh, you can see uh, the lake. As I said earlier, this area over here tends to be an area where uh, my friends and I spend a lot of time during uh, some of these spring and summer holidays, those three-day weekends that you get like Memorial Day and Fourth of July and Labor Day just because it's a easy place to set up the grill and you have enough space that you can play catch or get a softball or uh, wiffle ball game going and while it's not uh, maybe as glitzy as your uh, Oak Street Beach or North Avenue, it's easy. You usually find uh, a parking spot around here, even on the nicest of days. don't normally hit up the beach itself, but uh, it is kind of a tradition to walk over and check out the dog beach. If you like watching uh, puppy, puppies romping through the sand or uh, getting out into the waves a little bit, then uh, that's certainly the place for you.